Bismillah. Hi guys, have you ever heard a story about a man who wants to marry his own mother? To everyone here, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A good morning to all. My name is Muhammad Fat Gifari from Husnul Khotimah Islamic Boarding School, and I'm standing here to tell you all a story about the famous Tangkuban Perahu. So the story goes by long, long, long before you and I were born. In West Java, Indonesia, lived a princess named Dayang Sumbi. She was very beautiful and kind-hearted. Her hobby was weaving clothes. But sometimes she could be very lazy. One night, her weaving tool fell. But she was too lazy to get it herself. She shout out. Oh no, my needle fell on the ground. Can anybody take the needle for me? If you are female, I will take you as my sister. If you are a male, I will marry you. A male creature came, but it was a dog. His name was Tumang. He happily brought her needle to her. Da Yang Sumbi was very surprised, but she kept her promise. She married the dog. Tumang was actually a man who had been cursed by a witch to become a dog. But at certain times, Tumang could turn back to be a normal man. Their only son, Sangkuryang, was soon born and he grew up to be a handsome, strong and healthy boy. But he did not know that Tumang is his father. He only knew that Tumang is a royal dog because Dayang Sumbi hid the secret from him. One day, Dayang Sumbi asked Sangkuryang to bring home a deer's heart. Mom, I'm going to the forest now. Okay, oh, and bring Tumang with you. After hunting for several days, he did not find any deer in the wood. He did not want to disappoint his mother and was thinking hard how to find a way to bring home a deer's heart. Then he had an idea. He killed Tumang. Then he brought his heart home and gave it to Dayang Sumbi. Mom, I'm home and here is the heart that you asked me. But where is Tumang? Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe he's still in the forest. Sangkuryang could not cheat her. She knew it was Tumang's heart. So she got very angry and he hit Sangkuryang's forehead with a piece of wood. You killed Tumang. Do you know what you have done? Go away and never come back. With a bad one on his forehead, Sangkuryang left the village. Years later, Sangkuryang grew up to be a powerful man. One day, he went back to his village. He met a beautiful young woman there and he fell in love with her at the first sight. It was Dayang Sumbi. She never got older because she had been granted eternal death by the gods. Sangkuryang did not know that she was his mother. So he came to her and proposed to marry her. When he was closer to her, the young Sumbi got very surprised. She saw the scars on Sangkuryang's forehead. Soon, she knew it was her son who left her a long time ago. She told him the truth and tried hard to explain it to him. But he did not believe her. So Dayang Sumbi made a request. If you want to marry me, you have to build a lake and a boat in just one night. Ha! 
That's easy. But if I can, you must marry me. He knew that he could make it with the help of his genies. By midnight, he finished the lake and then started to make the boat. The young Zumbi was panic and thinking hard how to find a way to fail him. She prayed to God so that the boat cannot be finished before dawn. Then she had an idea. She asked the people in the village to burn the woods in the east. And the lights makes all the cocks crow. Thinking that the night will be over soon, the genies ran fast and left Sangkuryang before the boat was finished. Sangkuryang realized that Dayang Sumbi had cheated him. So he got very angry and he kicked the boat upside down. It gradually became a mountain and is now known as Tangkuban Prahu Mountain. The end. So, what do we learn from the story? Think before you act. And no matter what comes, truth got to be our main priority always. Audience, thank you. That's all from me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.